Hello and welcome into the Ed Hoddle Coaches Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Ed Hoddle, head football coach. And coach, you guys headed up to St. Vincent with a 25-21 victory, 261 total yards of offense, 263 yards given up. Uh, what's going to be the focus headed into the Salisbury prep? Uh, you know, for us, it's about getting better. You know, we left, uh, I think we left some points on the field. I think we, um, you know, I think we struggled in certain phases of the game, things that, that we've got to clean up. You know, some first game stuff, but some stuff that, you know, that, that you don't see in scrimmages that was, you know, I guess in a sense it was good to see it Saturday, but not, you know, you don't want to see it, but it gives us an opportunity to improve. And that's, um, that's kind of the theme going into this week is, is take what we've learned from Saturday and get better. Ten receptions for Steve Smothers with 94 yards and a touchdown. Timely touches for Maurice Hammond and touchdowns. Uh, what's going to be the offensive focus going into the Salisbury matchup? Well, I think it's going to be the same. You know, we want to distribute the ball to the guys that we feel like can put us in position to make plays. And, uh, you know, Steven's a dynamic player, and, and but but he too, like the rest of the group, we've got work to do. Um, there are things that we thought he could have done a little bit better. Same with Mo. Um, you know, I think what it boils down to Saturday was, you know, making the plays when we had to make plays. And it was nice to see guys operate, you know, under that pressure. Uh, but again, areas of improvement. Salisbury brings in a triple option threat. Uh, what is going to be the focus heading in, and how do you just limit their their yardage and their their touchdowns? Um, you know, it's it, it's a very unique challenge. Um, you, you know, as you look at it, it doesn't. What we did Saturday won't look anything like we're going to do this Saturday, particularly defensively. So it, it's kind of, in, in some sense, of you know, creating a different defense and asking our guys to do some things that they haven't been asked to do before. Um, you know, it's a big challenge. You, you know, those guys are dynamic. They've got you know, a long playoff history. They, you know, they're, they're constantly in the mix nationally, and, and Coach Wood's done a great job over the years. And, you know, we're going to have our hands full for sure. Joined now with Tom Zadalava. Uh, and, Tom, you guys headed up to St. Vincent, able to get, come, come away with a 25-21 victory. What was the, the focus on the defensive side, and how did you feel um, coming out of that game? Um, I think our biggest thing going into the game was just doing our job. Like, we preach it every day. We try to make sure everyone's on the same page doing everything. We always preach communication. So I think our biggest thing going into that game was that a lot of us, it was our first time ever really stepping field on the big show and getting a chance at the big uh, big shot. So um, I think our biggest thing coming out of it is we got a lot of the first game jitters out. Um, I think we're in, moving in the right direction and looking towards Salisbury. I think we're, we're heading right towards them. Salisbury brings in a, uh, a unique offense in the triple option. What has the focus been in the defensive room headed into this matchup? Um, discipline. Discipline is going to be the key to defeat them in the triple option. I know I, uh, I faced a couple of teams in high school that ran it, and the only way we were able to beat them was with discipline. So by doing our job and doing our right thing, we're, it's just going to be doing our job across the board. Great. Well, good luck, Tom, and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Week two, of course, is our home opener hosting Salisbury on Saturday. And Stevenson football is a family. We have a family member in need um, and an opportunity to help those family members with uh, Maddie Nelson and the opportunity to donate and help that family on the ticket back. Absolutely. So uh, Saturday's game, uh, kind of dedicating it to the Nelson family. Um, and it is the Nelson family in a sense that no member of their family has not been affected by this from, from the boys to, to Todd and Danielle and obviously Maddie going through her, you know, her battle with cancer. Um, she is actually the picture on the ticket, and on the back of the ticket is the QR code to donate to their um, to the fundraising effort to help, you know, relieve some of the financial pressure on the families. You know, we talked about last week. You know, one of the most remarkable pieces of all of this is just how much it costs to park at, at Hopkins. You know, and they're there constantly. And um, you know, we've done some events with Justin Burke. Justin's going to have a crew there uh, Saturday to kind of help promote the event. Um, but, you know, it's something that is much, much bigger than a football game is, is this young lady's battle with, with cancer. And, um, you know, she's touched all of us and, and something that, um, we're, you know, we're working to rally around the family as best we can during this time of need. Coach, I appreciate your time. Uh, good luck on Saturday hosting Salisbury at 1 o'clock, Mustang Stadium. Thanks, Joe.